Hello, I'm Jerry Ford, the Beer Review Guy. Got a beer here that was given to me um, by a gentleman named Mike Guze. He's a, a man I work with um, at my job, and uh, he gave me the he gave me a couple of these. So he didn't really care for them very much. So these are IPAs, which we know that not everybody is a big. I mean, there's IPA fans out there, people that. Don't mind them very much, but it's not really one of their favorites. I like IPAs a lot. Um, <clears throat> so I mean, some people have trouble, you know, getting the taste for them, which when I first started drinking IPAs, they, you know, they didn't taste good to me. So, um, so uh, I told him I was going to review it and let him know when I did. This is from Breckenridge Brewery, um, Fine Colorado Ales. It says a comp it's called hop peak ipa so it says complex and aromatic with notes of citrus and pine it's a 6.5 percent abv <clears throat> um, let's see <clears throat> breckenridge breweries out of littleton colorado Okay, it just has a big old giant hop cone right there on the front. Here is the cap. It seems like I've done a Breckenridge beer before, but I, I couldn't find it in my, in my uh, videos. I know it wasn't this one. I'm pretty sure it wasn't this one, but uh, still couldn't find it. Even searched for it, I couldn't find it. got some pretty strong IBUs. Doesn't tell what the IBUs are on here. <clears throat> I'll take a guess. Sometimes I, I like guessing. I've been told that you can't really guess the, IP, the IBUs by just upon the um, taste and smell or something like that. But I've been pretty close sometimes just by by guessing. <clears throat> I think I stopped pouring just in time. <clears throat> Excuse me. Doesn't look like there's any sediment in the bottom. Starting off with a three finger head. Um, it's got a little bit of a light haze to it. It's kind of a gold color. Head is a nice white frothy kind of appearance. Looks really nice. Yeah, I'm getting uh, a citrus. I'm getting some pine on the aroma. Other hop kind of aromas. It smells really good. <clears throat> get a look at it pardon my band-aid in the camera I know that you guys all know that you see me with band-aids probably 90% of the time <clears throat> it looks like it's uh, lightly carbonated light to medium carbonated well, let's just leave this a little bit left in the bottle so we can get on with it. Um, you got, I just told you what I was smelling. And it smells really, really good. Okay, let's see if I can get a drink of it. Ooh, wow. It's good. That is good. Um, getting pine, <clears throat> getting citrus, getting a, a bitterness on the back end, lightly sweet up front. It's got a medium body. Mm. On the back end, the bitterness kind of, it uh, heightens a little bit. <clears throat> mm. 
lightly carbonated. Oh, it's a good flavor, very good flavor. Um, IBUs, they're not real big in this. This isn't, this isn't real bitter. It's probably, I would say, 35 to 40 IBUs. <clears throat> I'll have to look it up and see how close I was. But, uh, get the rest of that in there. <clears throat> okay. A very good tasting beer. Good IPA. Um, nice quality. It's close to a sessionable IPA. Excuse me. Um, it's just a, a good drinkable IPA. Pretty smooth. Um, yeah. Almost a little bit of a I want to say a little bit of a mintiness, like like pine, which that's my, where I'm getting it from. It's not huge, but it just seems like it's there a little bit. Um, because it kind of gives you kind of a cool, refreshing kind of a mouthfeel a little bit. It's very good. Okay. Well, there you go. Let me know if you have had one of these. And if you liked it. Um, <clears throat> not really getting the alcohol. Six, 6.5. I mean, it's a little above uh, mid-range, in my opinion. Um... It's a good quality IPA. So there you go. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate it. I appreciate you uh, giving me these. And uh, thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one.